Hey, it's Matt Haycox here, and today I've got a guest with me who is going to help take your communication skills up to the next level. I've got Darren Simons, who started life as a TV presenter and now a communications and presenting trainer. And today we're going to be talking about all, all the skill sets you need, whether you're presenting to one person, to a room of a thousand, or whether you're hiding behind the telephone and making those sales calls that you've always hated. So Darren, welcome to the show. Thanks very much. Nice, nice and cosy, isn't it? Very cosy. <laughs> very cosy. Very close to you there, Matt. That's nice. I like that. We're, we're, we're teaching intimacy yeah, at an early yeah. stage in the relationship. Should, yes, indeed, indeed. I, mean, I, I introduced you to the guys as, as, a, as, a, as a TV presenter and, and now trainer. Can you, can you just give us a little bit of background as to, I guess, how you started your journey and, and yeah. where your skill set came from? Well, it's been 16 years uh, on television, live TV. I've done about 10,000 hours of live television. Wow. Uh, from, uh, from shopping TV to uh, TV travel shops to music documentaries. And before that, I think I got a, a, a buck for it because I was into uh, holiday centre presenting. I was a Buckman's red coat, you know, one of those. Uh, and then moved on to the luxury cruise ships around the world. And I did about 11 ships in seven years traveling the world as, a, as an entertainment presenter, which meant a lot of stage presenting and uh, doing the radio and TV show on board, but also communicating with the guests and, uh, and having that sort of uh, experience on board. And from then, naturally, I felt the need to, or want to, and desire to go and present on television, uh, and from then on, have, have stayed in the industry. And, and during your kind of Butlins days and, and, your, and your days on the cruise ships, had, had you had formal, formal kind of presentation and, and communication no, training? No, not at all. See what works for you. It is, and in those days, I, I say those days, it was a good 24, or five years ago, or whatever. I think we're none of us are getting any younger, are we? And uh, it was literally thrown into the deep end. You know, I was hosting. Uh, I had to do the ballroom dancing, never ballroom danced in my life, so I was doing that. I was hosting the quizzes, the glamorous grandmother competitions, the bingo, uh, the karaoke and everything. But nobody ever really taught you, and I think that you were thrown in at the deep end, which was good in a way, it gave you a good foundation. Uh, but I was lucky because I had that sort of introduction to the industry, I suppose, and not, not many people that you meet in business have actually had <laughs> or the need, desire, or, or whatever, to have done that type of thing. Uh, but I use those skills to move forward into broadcast and into coaching communication as well. So, uh, as, as you know, my, my, my audience for this, it, it's, it's normally small, medium businesses, you know, uh, entrepreneurs who, who are kind of starting the journey or, look, or looking to start the journey. And uh, what I really want to get across to them today is, is kind of you know, key communication skills. And, and what I, I guess what, what, what I've always found interesting talking to you is, is that you know, what, what started off as probably a, 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 present, a presenting uh, skill set or, or you know, advice from you about you know, how to present a camera is actually either very translatable or almost identical communication skill sets you know at, at whatever kind of level or size of size of communication you're going to do so you know I think you have some of the things we've talked about whether you're talking to a, a, you know a room of a thousand people or whether whether you're, you're selling selling to camera or, or, or whether you you know you're on the telephone making telesales calls you know there's, there's a really kind of important and translatable you know set of communication skills that anyone listening to this is going to benefit from so uh, I mean if, if if you, if you were to kind of start with the basics and, and, and pick and pick the you know, three key skills <laughs> that, that everybody everybody needs yeah. to learn. Well, I think ultimately what we look for is somebody that under pressure in this in, in environment, if you like, can be themselves. Just talk, talk to themselves. Communication skills, certainly for TV, for an audience. People look for real people, and as you know, and as, as a lot of your viewers will know as well, you know, people generally like to buy off that person, don't they? People buy off people. In, in certainly my view, I think that really works. So being yourself and being comfortable being yourself is a key thing, really some of the core foundations of being a good communicator. But also talking to that one person. You know, we might be in 21 million homes around the world or we might be World Wide Web on video platforms, YouTube or whatever, you know, IGTV, or wherever it might be. But imagine, even if you've got 50,000 people there or 5,000 or even five people watching, the key is just to address, if you can, that one person. Talk to one person. 
and talk to them in a conversational way with a few strings attached, of course, because it does help. We need to get our message across and we have to be aware of what we're doing with our face and the eye contact as well. I mean, you're looking at me, I'm looking at you, and it should be no different when we're communicating, you know, down the lens of a camera or when we're in business. It's always good and shows confidence as well. So it is about the eye contact, the smile on the face, simple. But ultimately, what's going to really help is you being comfortable being yourself really is important, I think. And, and, and obviously, we've just spoken there about um, you know, about looking, looking to camera and doing doing the smiling and stuff. But I guess you know, one of the things I've I've, I've really taken away from you know, from spending time with you and, and, and trying to learn these skills is you know, we talk about camera, but you know this is absolutely identical. You know whether you're talking one you know, on one to another person or you know, even if even if you're making sales calls, you know it's, it's always yeah, especially cold calling is something everybody that's a tough job. Everybody <laughs> dread, you know, dreads to do. Yeah. Um, but, but you know, if, if you if you can make that call, you know, with the smile on your face, you know, with the, with the, with the tonality and the, and the and the kind of you know, interest and excitement in your voice, mm. then, then, then then for sure, you know, it's, it's going to take your con- your conversions and, 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 your, and your leads to the next level. Absolutely, I think so. So many people are so hell bent on, you know, uh, the, the boss needs me to get the sales figures in, and I've got to get to my script and get get this this pressure and this delivery and the words out that we forget. Actually, what is going to help sell or communicate is us to be at ease with ourselves, confident, comfortable, calm, <laughs> in control, but also have that personality. I feel that you know personalities really help. If I'm on the phone and I've got a problem with a, a, a utility company or whatever, whatever, and I have somebody decent on the other end that's listening to me and is being half human being, you know, I, I'm I feel a lot better about the situation and, and I'll be a bit calmer as well. So. And certainly, I, I'm, if I go into a car showroom, um, I would probably buy a car if the salesperson has done a good job. I would probably buy it there and then because I, I like the person that I'm buying it from. I may not ever see them again, um, but I'm a bit of a, a sucker for that, Matt, you know? Well, I, and it very much goes back to the, you know, the pe- pe- people by people. And, you know, and, and, and all, all, all we're looking to do when we're, when we're communicating, like you say, is, is, have, is have a likeable persona, you know, a, 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 a personality that people, people can engage with. And, ha- and how, how do you impart that you know, to, to, to the person or people listening or watching you and, 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 and affect as many people as possible? Yeah, and it is. It's about building that rapport, relating to them. And, you know, if you are offering them service, ask the questions and, and you know, as we know, see if we can help them and offer that solution. But do it in that personal way, absolutely. But communication skill for me is really about connecting, engaging, if it's a viewer, if it's a customer, uh, and, and really the eye contact, the smile, uh, the friendliness, and that conversational way, uh, certainly in front of the camera. Because a lot of people are brilliant when they're selling it to another person or a client or whatever in business, but that camera gets in front of them, all of a sudden, it's like, I don't know how to be me anymore, I've forgotten. You know, and, and what we do, what we've been working with today, Matt, which you've been brilliant at, is understanding that and realising that the camera shouldn't stop you. You've got to get over that hurdle and don't, talk. Don't overcomplicate. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Keep it simple. Uh, keep everything short, simple, sweet, the message clear, and it all works well. So, so tell me, away from away from the presenting and the and, and the training side of the business, I, mean, I, I know I know you have a, have a couple of other businesses, and you're, you're a business person yourself. How how would you um, how do you find the communication skills you know that, that, that you've learnt over the years and, and, and that you've that you've done for presenting the TV? You know, how how have they impacted you in, in your business, and yeah, how, how, how have you used them uh, used them to your advantage? I, I think <laughs> I think I have, Matt. I mean, we bought a restaurant three years ago uh, near Marbella. Uh, we're not restaurateurs, myself and my wife, uh, and we thought we'd have an investment. But, you know, what I didn't realise is that when you buy a business and you buy 11 staff with it, all these people are individuals, aren't they? And like you know, you have uh, a number of people working for you, and uh, it is about how, on a day-to-day basis, you interact and communicate. So a big lesson for me, really, was, uh, was actually, you know, uh, talking and, and communicating and, and getting the best out of my staff on a day-to-day. And I think that was the biggest challenge that I learned because I was so used to communicating, uh, but for me going into a different industry, um, I, you know, I, I had to learn that. But at the same time, it is transferable skills, of course, you, you know, you can communicate. Uh, and these are, these are staff members, but um, it is interesting. Uh, and I think it's helped the business because 
quite often I will go around and schmooze the tables, yeah. uh, you know, and just talk to people. Gonna go there with a smile on your face when you serve some raw chicken, and you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and try and uh, try and convince them to put a nice review on TripAdvisor <laughs> for me, which does work actually. And it's funny because when I wasn't doing a lot of that, when I was busy in the UK, we didn't get as many TripAdvisor hits or, or likes on there because. Um, I wasn't telling them to do that, so I think it helps as well in a way. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's helped the business grow. Um, I can communicate with the staff, the customers, the suppliers, and I think that's really important, certainly because we have a manager, and we've got to manage the manager as well.